Yeah, so I decided to make this little video because I've had so many issues getting this SSIS package up and running and I struggled, couldn't find anything online. I'm going to post a link um, to the article or the, the blog I found very helpful with this, but I'm going to do a little demo. So in this little session is when I, I want to basically run a basic SSIS package. I want to copy data from Enterprise Architect there to the destination database over there. But I want to do so using temp table. So I would create a temp table like this. It's the double hash temp table. And then I want to select from there and insert that into there. I just kind of want to show you all the little nuances in order to do that. So I'm going to copy this. Okay, that's creating the temp file. What I'm going to show you here is let's say first thing that you do is you need to execute a sql task so this is how you will create your temp table running a, a sql task you select this and you go like, excellent connection is the source database and i paste the query that creates the temp table in there okay, there it is Click the query say okay cool that will now create the temp table so in the second step now that the temp table is created second thing i want to do is i want to do a data flow Let's connect these two. Inside the data flow, I want to take a ODDB connection source table. Okay. So I want to select from that temp table. I basically want to run this statement from that temp table and populate that into the destination there. So I'm going to copy this. Let's say this is from the source database. I'm going to do a SQL command, and the SQL command will be select start from business unit. Okay, cool. So it picks it up because that session already has the temp table is already run in here. Okay. So we can say that. Let's quickly want to show you a little trick. If that if that temp table was not in there, let's say we dropped let's drop this table over there. And we go in here, columns. It's gonna give me this little error because the temp table didn't run. So what I suggest you do in this situation is just go back into the SQL instance and quickly create that table then you won't get this little error over here you see now it's actually because it's in the database okay now let's do the destination table oops there are two there hey delete destination table there connect the two up and so i want to send it to destination i want to send it to a specific table i want to send it to the business units the mapping will be automatic that's great wonderful so technically if i run this thing now the temp table will be created in this step, and in the data flow, it will grab the data, select start from the temp table, and insert it into the destination database. Just check this out, what's going to happen now. Did you run into the same issue? You select, you start the process, everything goes well, and then it will stop you right there. <clears throat> now, why does that happen? First thing, this is this took me a long while to figure out. You need to go into your source data, data DB. So you go there, you open the properties up. Open the properties. So what we're going to change here is we're going to say remain on the same connection. True. Okay. So what that basically means is we this temp table um, is created in the same session and it's accessible to any other down downstream actions from this execute SQL task, which means it will now be available if the set is true to the data flow task. Okay. Cool. Lovely. I'm going to run this now again. Okay, so here's another error. It basically is telling me that um, it failed validation. Remember, because this thing doesn't exist yet, it's failed validation. So what you also need to do is right-click on the data flow task, the properties, and just say delay the validation of this step. Cool. Those are the two settings you need to change. Let's save this package. Let's rerun it. And like magic, it actually ran. Check the data flow went through. The destination table went through. So those are the two settings that you just need to change. I'm going to put a link to that um, in the video as well, so you can always access that. Anyway, BA Sensei signing out. Have a good one.